Hi everybody, welcome to the Student Learning Support Service. My name is Lauren uh, and in our English language support video today, we're going to be talking about noun phrases. Now I'm sure you all know that a noun is a name of something. It can be the name of a person, a thing or an idea, for example, woman, dress or dream. Now we all know that, right? That's the basics. A noun phrase then is a whole group of words that takes the place of the noun in the sentence. For example, the woman in the purple dress. So a noun phrase includes the noun itself. The original word is a way to think of it. So in this ca case, uh, that's the word woman. And it also includes some modifying information and modifiers are those words like adjectives and adverbs that help add extra information to describe or qualify that noun. Uh, so in this case, in the purple dress. Uh, we've got a preposition, an article, uh, a noun, uh, and an adjective there to help us understand more about who this woman is that I'm talking about. Remember, it's not just any woman. I'm specifically wanting to distinguish the woman in the purple dress. This whole phrase then becomes a part of our sentence. I saw the woman in the purple dress at the bakery yesterday. One way that we can figure out whether we have a whole noun phrase or maybe a different type of phrase or clause is that we should be able to replace that noun phrase with a single pronoun. For example, I saw her at the bakery yesterday. We use noun phrases in English all the time to help us identify and distinguish uh, and specify information. So for example, the dog with a spot on his nose is looking out the window, or the painting on the wall was recently donated, or my closest friends are coming for a dinner party. You'll see all of these phrases in blue are noun phrases. They are far more descriptive than the singular nouns which I've put in purple. Uh, I know exactly exactly which dog, not just any dog, is, uh, is looking out the window. Uh, it's not just any painting in this museum, it's the painting on the wall that was recently donated. And not just any of my friends are coming for dinner, my closest friends are coming for dinner. And noun phrases can get really big and complicated. So we might start with a noun, just like community. Uh, we can build this into a slightly bigger uh, noun phrase by saying the South Adelaide community, and we can build this even bigger, uh, the recently established women's shelter in the South Adelaide community. Yes, believe it or not, that entire thing is a noun phrase. Uh, all of that information is taken together to help me understand exactly which shelter it is. It's not just a women's shelter in the south of Adelaide. It's also been recently established. Maybe this is the really important information that will distinguish it from another women's shelter in uh, the south Adelaide community. And remember, once again, I could replace this whole phrase with a single pronoun. It. Let's say this comes in one sentence, I might have a sentence that follows it that says it is going really well. It being the recently established women's shelter in the South Adelaide community. Of course, just because you can make your noun phrases this long, it doesn't always mean that you should. Let's take a look then at how this can be really useful in our academic writing. Let's say we have a sentence that reads something like this. If community groups get together to buy land, they can prevent it from being developed in a way that they find undesirable. This seems pretty standard for something that we might write in an essay, don't you think? But let's have a closer look. This sentence is made up mostly of verbs, okay? And in some contexts, of course, this is fine. We want to use verbs in our writing. They can make our writing uh, far more active. But it's also very wordy. It's also very samey. We're getting a kind of a particular kind of rhythm here when we're only mostly using verbs to kind of carry the sentence. Instead, I can use some noun phrases and rewrite this sentence to read something like, the joint purchase of land by community groups leads to the prevention of what they regard as undesirable outcomes. So I've replaced many of those verbs 
With noun phrases, I have four noun phrases making up this sentence. And this has reduced the total word count of my sentence from 22 to just 18. And as you might notice, it also sounds a little bit more impersonal, doesn't it? It has a little bit more of that formal academic tone about it. So let's look at how we create noun phrases and there's a few ways that we do this. The first one is to use the noun form of verbs or adjectives and this is why it's really important to know our word families that we talked about all the way back at the beginning of this module. For example, councillors criticised the way in which newspapers covered their local elections. To turn this into a noun phrase, I'm going to take that verb, covered, and use the noun form. Councillors criticised newspaper coverage of the local elections. Newspaper coverage is a noun phrase and I've shortened my sentence and made it more formal. The second way is to use a noun with the same meaning as a whole phrase. So think of it like finding a noun version of a synonym. So in a sentence like, a number of people doubted that the recycling scheme could be kept going for a long time. I'm going to think about what's a noun that means something similar to could be going for a long time. Uh, and I'm going to replace that when creating my noun phrase. So instead I've come up with, there were doubts about the sustainability of the recycling scheme. Sustainability has replaced that whole phrase uh, and using the noun phrase, the sustainability of the recycling scheme has again kept my writing nice, tight and specific. The third way is to use the gerund form of the verb, which is the, the form of the verb with the ing on it. And we do this when we're turning a verb into a noun. So if the town hall's facade were cleaned, it could become a more attractive local feature, might become the cleaning of the town hall's faca facade could make it a more attractive local feature. And finally, uh, we can use a compound adjective, which is when we put two adjectives next to each other uh, to create a single adjective. For example, can you pass me the document which is six pages long becomes, can you pass me the six page document? The six page document is a noun phrase. Noun phrases are very typical in academic English and as I said earlier, they help us create that impersonal style and reduce wordiness in our sentences. And that's it, a nice, short, quick one to talk about noun phrases. Uh, now I recommend that you have a look at noun clauses, which is going to extend these ideas just a little bit more. That's all from me. I'll see you then.